In this video, we will build a basic ModRap model using WMS. We will start with a project that already has a DEM loaded into WMS. To compute the flow directions and accumulations, we will use Topaz. We will then place an outlet on the Palmer Canyon stream arc and delineate a watershed. Due to area constraints in the ModRap model, we'll need to subdivide the watershed. To smooth out the rough edges of the watershed, we will redistribute the vertices. We will then switch to the ModRap model and set up the job control. Next we'll create a coverage for our soil type and land use. Then use WMS to map the land use and soil type shapefiles to those coverages. Because ModRat has a specific naming convention, we will use WMS to assign the correct names for each basin and reach. We will then select a basin to verify that the soil type and percent impervious values have been properly mapped to it. We will import a rainfall depth grid and use WMS to calculate the rainfall depth for each basin. We will then assign a temporal distribution for the rainfall in each basin. To compute the time of concentration, we will have WMS compute the longest flow path for each basin and use the moderate time of concentration equations built into WMS. Now we must assign the ModRat routing parameters for our individual reaches. We will then run ModRat and view the resulting hydrograph. We will then create a burn simulation for our model. To do this, all we need to do is modify the job control. We 
Next, we will create the burn simulation. By opening the basin parameters window, we can see that the soil type was updated to a burn soil type of 288. We will then compare the normal and burned hydrographs Next, we will use WMS to compute the amount of debris produced from the mountainous and burned drainages. We will create a debris production area coverage, which is also known as a DPA coverage. We will import a DPA shapefile and map it to the DPA coverage. We will then use WMS to calculate the DPA zone area for each subbasin. We will then change the debris control structure for basin 5A from adequate to undersized with a 50% capacity. WMS then calculates the excess control debris for each basin. We will then use WMS to calculate the bulk flows for each of the subbasins. 